72, League Cup winner in 71 and 73, a skipper, uh, one of two Englishmen ever to score in a World Cup final, the legendary Martin Peters, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> uh, third member of one family now to play for Spurs. Uh, made history in 1980, becoming the youngest player ever in an FA Cup final, signed for Spurs in 1985, uh, making over 370 appearances across five years. Uh, FA Cup winner in 1991, including that amazing semi-final, which I'm sure most of the Arsenal fans remember very, very well. Uh, and also, we can't be more pleased to say he'll be inducted into the Tottenham Hotspur Hall of Fame next week. Paul Allen. <laughs> Uh, one of Spurs' finest and most loyal defenders of all time, 420 games for Tottenham over 12 years, uh, scoring one goal, two league cups, one away for cup winners medal, never put a foot wrong, Phil Peel. <laughs> Quite right, he says, just the tricks on the stair there. Uh, boyhood Spurs fan now came back to play here after three years in FA Cup winner commentary, who we don't mention too often. Uh, slotted into the middle of the back four alongside Gary Mabbott. Uh, who deputises captain for many occasions, 211 appearances over five years. Uh, another FA Cup winner from 1991, Steve Sedgley. Uh, totally Spurs through and through, at present, hugging the limelight. Uh, ever present engine room of the Spurs side to the 1970s, from 1969 to 1980. Uh, 415 appearances for Tottenham, two League Cup wins, one UEFA Cup winners medal, assistant manager here in the 80s as well, John Pratt. Uh, I'm a sign from Burnley now for £190,000 in 1971, which is then a cash record. Two games, first two games as a Spurs player, actually playing for England. He played in the UEFA Cup winning side of 1972. Uh, came on for the injured John Pratt in the League Cup final of 1973, scoring the winner. Nearly 250 appearances for Spurs, Ralph Coates. Uh, another sign from Fulham in 1964, went on to play nearly 400 games for Spurs, FA Cup winner in 67, uh, went on to captain the side, led Tottenham to the League Cup in 1971, uh, and that great UEFA Cup win of 1972, scoring the winning goal, and knocking himself out in the process, and playing on, capped 35 times by England, Footballer of the Year 1975, the great Alan Mullery. <laughs> Uh, versatile defender, later midfield player, Cyber Spurs in 1983 uh, after very impressive FA Cup final performance for Brighton. Uh, member of the UEFA Cup winning side for us in 1984. Exactly 200 appearances for Tottenham between 1983 and 1989, gaining seven England caps. Gary Stevens. Uh, Jill in the crown now, the greatest Spurs team of all time, signed here in 1958, spent the next 10 years at Tottenham scoring 159 goals. Uh, six of those against Arsenal, by the way. League and FA Cup double winner in 61, FA Cup in 62, Cup winners Cup in 63. Uh, capped 59 times by Wales and he's picked the finest left winger in the world, Cliff Jones. <laughs> Uh, one of Spurs' most prolific and deadly strikers of all time, eight years at Spurs, 174 goals in 367 games, five against Arsenal, still holds the Spurs' record for the most League Cup goals, still holds the Spurs' record for the most European goals, and in the early 70s, arguably the finest centre forward in the world, the great Martin Chemers. <laughs> And also by Owen's Leeds, man, the signer in 1964, went on to rep represent Spurs nearly 600 times, scoring one goal, one FA Cup win at Tottenham, two League Cups, one away for Cup and winner's medal as well. Uh, 1973 Footballer of the Year, 1976 PFA Player of the Year, 119 caps for Northern Ireland, which is still a record. Uh, and I'm sure both sets of fans would agree the greatest goalkeeper in the world, Spurs through and through, Pat James. Thank you very much. So we are the legends of Tottenham Hotspur Football Club that are with us. Uh, we're going to take some photographs now. So, Pat, if you'd like to come up and join us, uh, if we can take some photographs. And also, uh, Gary. Enjoy that. <laughs> Gary Stevens want to come up as well. That'd be great. And